and this, this story is really good guys okay so black swan says i've been watching her closely for a while and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel so it's happened already i was right she was lying earlier she just sat in one corner keeping silent chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up i told her it's a pungent bitter beverage not the taste of sweet dreams only for people allergic to soul glad and she said it's a pungent bitter beverage not the taste of sweet dreams only for people allergic to soul glad and she said really but i don't taste any difference at all between them Guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. I gotta mention it at least once, bro. She too damn fine. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. That's a good thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. The Annihilation Gang. That band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. Content creator brain what rock exactly guy, sorry. What happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. That's a good one too. guys there it is it's hazy but it's ifrit's voice the other one is probably his progeny this is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered they were abruptly interrupted then what happened next is They sought refuge in the land of sleep, merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Bro, that VA is so damn good. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. I, he, I think he blows every freaking VA in the game out of the water. The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good thumbnail too. <laughs> Chat and they are like, God damn it, this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Thumbnail folder. <gasps> what happened? Okay, hold on, guys. ADHD moment. Uh, this is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. Yeah, I was I wasn't even really paying attention right here. Okay, there it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. Okay, this is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. 
That's a weird, that's a weird combo. Abruptly interrupted. Then what happened next is he sought refuge in the land of sleep, merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. You won't be necessary. I alone am enough. I remember that. That was the uh that was the freaking hardcore girl. Hardcore girl. I mean, uh, when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Oh, wait, this is that oh, this is that trailer. This is literally that trailer. The Everflame Mansion is set on a journey. Those poor people they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. <laughs> Acheron. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly she'll be here soon and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be no need to be delicate. I think I better go all out. What happened? Okay. Holy back reading. The memory <laughs> Thank you for the tier one. Is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way. Oh shit. Somebody got the power of wiping away memories? Welt. Welt black hold that shit, bro. Welt black hold it, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Caden, thank you for the tier one. Caden Po613 just subscribed. I hate when they do this goofy ass shit, bro. Like, brother, what's the point, man? Just might as well just not show shit. You just might as well not show anything, bro. <laughs> it's like it's been erased. Who's done this? I did it. I put a white out on all that shit. I <laughs> fucking. Developer over here using whiteout on the dialogue and shit. Who are you? Who are you? It's wait, how's she talking from a memory? No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? Whoa! Whoa! My name is Constance. Oh! A pleasure to meet you. I was gonna say that. We were supposed to meet in Pentagon. I really was, but I wasn't confident in it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Isn't that supposed to be her, uh... What do you call it? Her rival? That's her, that's her sworn enemy right there, bro. But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Oh, please make Constance playable. Can you imagine a Black Swan Constance team? Oh my god. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh. I damn what in a scary movie? Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? At this moment, on the other side. <laughs> a few days ago. The IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The independent Sigonian sovereignty, Sigonian is a Venturine, right? has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. You're talking about Aventurine, surely, right chat? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, Ooh. turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. Is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational, whatever the hell, extinction event into a distant memory. 
What? I mean, that says a lot about what it what Aventurine's carrying on his back, if that's true. I don't know if that's a planet or what, but wherever he comes from, he's got the entire weight of it on his fucking shoulders, if that's the case. Sagonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat yeah, of the entire planet. From small scale celestial objects. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. The planet's surface environment. Yeah, so bro is like, what the fuck? Sagonia Sovereign? Bro's the sovereign. I just got mind fucked. Under the watchful guidance of the marketing development department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sagonian sovereignty, brother, sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. I'm not crazy, bro. Sovereign is like a goddamn king bro or not a king but you know like fucking ruler supreme power or author authority yeah bro holy shit the formation of the Sagonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sagonia system this move puts an end to the planet's long oh shit bro bro was way more important than i thought he was this is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Well, they're godless, essentially. The godless place. Uh, I will say, I think that kind of explains the, 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 the slave mark on his neck. He's a slave to the IPC. For his, for his people, or his planet, I guess. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Ah, damn, I love the sound of rain. Holy shit, bro. Boy, that's some good sound of rain there. God damn it, man. Ah, bro, I listen to that shit all goddamn day, boy. And Grandpa fell asleep. All right, all right, Pity. Mommy, 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 the rain, it's raining. Raining? 
What in the hell kind of name is that? You came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born. The sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. Gyathra. I don't know why when I hear Gyathra, I think of like fucking Mount Olympus, bro. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them. To Avgen. Gaia, the mother of Titans. Ooh, you might be onto something there. May the goddess Gaiathra close her eyes three times. So oh, she has three eyes? Is that what you is that what they're saying like that? Two eyes and then one in the middle? Ah. Some interesting lore. Triclops, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let your journey be forever peaceful. This whole time she's been talking to her son like she's about to die. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to get to that part. And your schemes. They killed his father already. And she's like talking as if she's about to be sent to the Shadow Realm too. Kakavasha. Child blessed by God. Ah, man, some good lore drops here, guys. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. That Gallagher? <laughs> Is that oh, weird? heavens. I couldn't tell. I must have drunk too much soul glad. I didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you Oh, guessed, shit, my boy! Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They are still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. That my boy, dog. That my boy there, dog. Oh, of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. I see Aventurine in a completely different light after that lore. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. Bro just admit to trying to kill himself multiple times. Bro said he tested it a few times. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Yeah, bro got some screws loose. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. I like this. I'm really liking 2.0 and 2.1 because it has so many of the characters we love involved. I love it. That was one big weakness of Genshin Impact. 
I don't know how the story is these days. Maybe it's improved. I don't know. But they would like they had a bad fucking habit of not involving the characters you like to play. And it's like they have every single piece of dialogue is with the characters we love. It's awesome. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? I fucking love Dr. Ratio, man. Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. Venturing Japanese dub is better. Gives even vibe rather than zesty vibe. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna like put down the English VA, you know? I think he's doing his job to, the, to what was requested of him. But yeah, obviously I prefer the Japanese VA. But she died right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Yep. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. <laughs> Oh but if you shit. You simply can't control yourself. Bro is so player with it. Hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? Oh. Sunday. <sighs> is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <laughs> Oh my god. Fine. We're asking dumb ass questions, bro. Oh, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Always got these fat head ass birds hiding in the background for no reason, bro. Without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Friend. We're here. 
The Dualide Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. A fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. Oh, a new, a new, uh, tune. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Hey, you two! That's a place of business. No entry! I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my... Full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough. Get What's Blood Waffling about? Don't That's exactly what went Sunday through my head. Waiting. Seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. <laughs> Dr. Ratio, don't fuck kids. That's so freaking cool and creepy that Sunday has all of Pina Coney right there in front of him. Yeah, this is some, this is some diabolical mastermind ass shit to have in your estate, to be honest. This this uh, OST is like kind of nostalgic, it's like reminding me of like turbase OSTs back in the gap. Hold on. Huh? What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? Why was bro with this friend shit, man? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, bro, one of the, bro, a diabolical ass dude for real. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. <clears throat> Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Bro is so matter <laughs> Fine. of fact. Fine. Oh. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in- Somebody pour that man a glass of whiskey, bro. Yo, yo, ratio, brother. Need you to take a chill pill, bro. All right, need you to simmer down, baby. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. 
Well, I've never played with them before. <laughs> Adventure is just like unfazed too. <laughs> chips. Oh look, the guy. And it's really trying to ratio. And it fits perfectly. Uh. <laughs> so, what's next? Wait, we can enter the sand pit? I haven't felt compelled to switch over to uh, Railblazer. Uh, oh, good heavens. D did I drink? A am I still in a dream? Indeed. <laughs> okay, ratio. Oh, doctor, you're huge. It's me down here in the, the sand pit. I mean, Gib, I, I, I was going to let him make it on that one, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to call it out, but damn, chat. Seemed like you motherfuckers just wasn't going to let it slide. I guess y'all wasn't going to let that one slide, bro. Actually. I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Hey bro, you know what they remind me of? Hey man, where where my Where my where my people at? Y'all know what this shit remind me of? Beetlejuice. Yeah, you young niggas ain't gonna know nothing about that though. Goddamn Beetlejuice, bro. <laughs> where my people at, man? This is some Beetlejuice ass shit if I ever seen it, bro. Dad's model town. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Can't believe you said it three times. The original Michael Keaton, bro. If they had some like Michael Keaton, um, what do you call it? What's the phrase when you have? Oh, y'all know the phrase I'm talking about. Easter eggs. If they had some Michael Keaton Easter eggs in here, that'd be so lit. Or some Beetlejuice Easter eggs. Missed opportunity, if you ask me. Oh, capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Holy ex holy inception. That Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> yeah, I told you this is diabolical ass shit. And I'll be honest with you, bro. This shit diabolical as well, bro. This is probably why nobody don't be tripping when crazy shit happens. Y'all in there with a bunch of bots. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. Oh, snap. Thanks, Doc. Out of all the goddamn, so y'all gonna y'all not gonna show a cutscene? Ah oh, shit, man! I'm about to deduct another point, bro. Y'all not gonna show a cutscene of Ifrit blowing himself up? Y'all gonna show a goddamn cutscene of motherfucker, man? Chat, bro. Dark Souls ass cutscene. Man, hell no, nah, chat. Bro said, let me give y'all a two second cutscene, bro. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just <laughs> beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. <laughs> This is why I, I, I wanted to play in Japanese, bro. I can't take bro serious, dog. Like, I just can't take him serious. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit.
it or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. <laughs> Bro thought he was smart, got cooked. Bro thought he was cooking, bro. Hell no. Nah. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Bro, there's always a facet you ain't seeing, my boy. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. <laughs> um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. So, he refers to friends as pawns. So now, now, okay, finally revealed this shit. It's good to have more helpful pawns when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gamble. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Getting good. Getting good, getting good. Make sure I got something. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He has already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. I mean, I guess those ain't entirely false. I guess they're true to a degree. What the fuck? I think he's being sarcastic. Bro, bro, bro sarcasm is almost going above my head. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person. And put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. 
No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know... You hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. Oh boy, you presume to think my, my man gives a fuck about his sister's death. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous. Yeah, that's sarcasm. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Would you? Yeah, that's sarcasm, bro. Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. Man, how many goddamn emanators are we gonna see? Ain't no way Aventurine Zesty ass about to get the power of an emanator, bro. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. That's actually a wicked object. And, and Sunday over here just holding on to it like it ain't nothing, bro. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. What the f- I'm blown away. Bro has the power of an emanator in his presence. Nonchalant about it, too. That's crazy. That boy, that boy Sunday, a bad man. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Bro is very keen. Holy shit. Oh yeah, you dealing with one of them motherfuckers, bro. He don't miss nothing. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. Bro is teaching this man about chess in the most elegant way. Damn, bro said he already set up the pieces on your ass. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. This shit getting good. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for what exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple-faced soul, please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Oh, triple-faced soul. 
sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron so that he would not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Damn. <laughs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next. You have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Yeah, damn, he put his ass on the spot, brother. Holy, that was a big dick power move there, bro. I implore them to shed their light and I'll ask you questions on their behalf next. Is the Harmony like twin, a twin Eon or something? And if I refuse to answer? They have three faces. Okay, that's right. They did say that earlier. They did say that earlier. Okay. You can try, and we'll see if the Harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? That shit is cracked. Yes. Hold up, bro. Why is bro have the power of Harmony? How he out here commanding Harmony like that? What the fuck? We got another Eminator. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Hold on, bro. I gotta go back to that first question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. Okay, that was actually pretty fucking important. All right. Okay, did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered the... Okay, so he's trying to figure out if Zesty's the one who's been setting this shit up. Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit. Did he hand it over to the family when he entered Panacone? If he says no, then that means he lost of it, which would which would then prove that that shit is of value to him. If he says yes, then that means bro's trying to okie doke motherfuckers, bro. Yes. Oh, that nigga trying to okie doke people, brother. Oh, he tried to okie doke people. Yo! Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? I got to look at these questions again. Hold up. Do you own a cornerstone? Yep. Okay. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered the Pink Honey? Yes. Okay. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Okay. Okay. So now. Okay. So then now it's a possibility that he had to ha hand it over. Never mind. Okay, so that changes things. There's a possibility he just had to ha hand it over. Um, you know, outside of his free will. Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Hold up. Is bro the emanator of the preservation then? Did he just pretty much admit to that? Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection. This motherfucker is a lawyer, bro. Bro, put his ass on trial. Is your memory free of any kind of tampering or deletion encompassing but not restricted to the techniques? Bro, bro, bro had signed a fucking NDA. Of, of, bro, signed an NDA, dog. That's crazy. Is your memory free of any kind of tampering or deletion encompassing, but not they really hit him with the but not restricted to that's crazy to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection. So he's also trying to see if Black Swan has a hand in this man's fucking like uh, thinking his thought process. Holy shit, bro. Yes. Wait, so he it's it's obvious he just admitted to his own free will. Okay, okay. So are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yep. Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgens have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Their God has three eyes. Have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? Three eyes? No. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, okay. Does it matter? Do you 
love your family more than yourself. Yep. He sure does. He absolutely fucking does. He has his whole world on his back. Hold on, though. That question earlier was fucking crucial, chat. Hold on, dog. Do you, do the ad do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? Okay, okay. I'm trying to see because he's asking these questions obviously to dwindle down what's actually going down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. Yep. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <sighs> I don't know. Interesting. Now. The final question. I feel like this shit about to be a nuclear bomb. Did you kill Robin? Are you an emanator? Have you seen Dr. Ratio Slong? What? Hey, what? Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? <laughs> The Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? I feel like he don't have the stone in there. I think he's going to say no. My answer's on no. He was trying to okie doke. Hmm. This man, Dr. Ratio, been there the whole time. I forgot about my boy. <laughs> ah, damn it. I was wrong. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. The damn fat ass arrow out the way. <sighs> Please. <laughs> Dr. Maceo tried to help you out. He did. He tried to help you out. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Wait, which one's the other one? Preservation and is that the no, there's no way. Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. How do you acquire the business of somebody who does not want to do business with you you gotta know what they want you gotta know what they're interested in bro knew what he was interested in guys we know if there's anything my brother treasures above all is knowledge just like with black swan if you promise her some fire ass memories she not gonna be able to resist eventually might be smart but bro bit from that motherfucking tree that forbidden fruit from the tree like everybody else did, goddammit. He ain't In perfect. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Nah, we gonna see. Yeah, we gonna see about that. You say it sound good. If you agree. This motherfucker here like Eisen, you dealing with Sunday. I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware of that. Besides mm -hmm. the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Yeah, that bro, bro trying to get you to bite from that damn forbidden fruit. Sunday, a, a mm -hmm. wicked, he that nasty work. 
You know it's nasty work when you got Dr. Ratio over there like goddamn Akuma. Hmm. Hmm. You got Dr. Ratio hitting him. Hmm. That boy had to act. Boy had to activate his thinking cap, chat. <laughs> Motherfucker usually quick with it. Bro had to actually activate the thinking cap, bro. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone, which Mr. Avenger yep. surrendered. Yep. Was it really his? Oh wait, so was I right? Was I fucking right? You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. True. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Dr. Asia, you ain't, you ain't be no, you ain't, come on, bro. Don't tell me your ass was snitch. Nah, not not my ratio, bro. That's nah, nah, bro. Not our ratio. <laughs> I appreciate it. Or or ratio lied to your ass. Bro is bro is literally the middleman right now, bro. He go okie doke either way. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Hey, that mean Aventurine got can go full throttle on your ass then. Wait, who the fuck's cornerstone is that then? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. How did Aventurine lie to him? Wait, he lied to his ass then, didn't he? Am I confused? The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. Nah, you know what, man? It's still on the table that Dr. Ratio is, is bamboozling this nigga, too. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Bro, they dropping way too many. Bro, they dropping way too many bombs for my brain to keep up with, bro. <laughs> Holy leaks. So, I, just, so today, there's like multiple emanators for the preservation path. Then, is that what it is? Multiple emanators. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. I'll read chat in a bit. I don't want to look at chat yet. I'm just keep reading. After everything's all done, I'll, the I'll look. Safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. 
Bro got a bougie ass fucking bag, bro. This zesty ass nigga got a goddamn. <laughs> Nah, bro, ain't no way in hell, bro. Got a man bag over there as his fucking corner stopping, bro. Bro, got a purse over there as his corner stopping. Nah, ain't no way, bro. Bro, got a man bag as his corner stopping. That all got the, it got the goddamn spade and the hearts on there, the club and shit, dog. Yo, oh, I'm in disbelief, bro. I'm in disbelief, chat. They got a designer bag as his cornerstone. I see this bag makes in your cornerstone more precious than life itself with a bunch of worthless jewels disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with, betting on your single misstep leading to a total loss. I wonder if Aventurine is actually witty enough to outwit Dr. Ratio. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend. Or Dr. Ratio bamboozled him. I could add a blot of still there. That's, that's still on the table. Storied career. That's still on the table, guys. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a lot of utter failure to your story career. <sighs> Ratio, you rat. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's Consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of fair ah, grace. Ah, okay. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the Consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> Is this what the Harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you. And it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Damn. That's the ultimate gamble, bro. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <laughs> I'm convinced bros, bros an emanator of harmony. Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both are finding the line, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. I, I wouldn't trust that shit for a fucking five seconds, bro. I wouldn't trust this nigga as far as I could throw him. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. 
Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. And that's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? Damn, bro. How I many they take it? So many shots is crazy. <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. Wait, bro, something about to escalate. It's an outright execution. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, you put him you put him like with his back against the wall. He's like a wolf. Bro about to do some desperate ass shit and all in it. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. I wonder if this scenario is is trying to represent what's happening to him right now. That's no reason to push your luck by going up against those those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad? Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha. You are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Little bro grew up in a world full of gotcha games. Blood's been gambling since five. <laughs> if bro does have a maxed out look stat. There'll be no next time. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gaiathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Bro's luck is so immaculate they somehow gonna get out of all that bullshit. You're a child blessed by Gaiathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. That name is doing the most. Okay. We'll swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, Gayathra Triclops was really watching over us. Why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gaiathra Triclops' offerings. <coughs> Where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the 
moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Excuse me, I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you Five X Sad combo. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's looking at only one one part of the picture. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Holy technology. Please rest assured, your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. And can I trouble you to access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the block. Okay. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Yeah. Hmm, I'm sure. Yeah. Sparkle? Sure enough. I haven't seen any of Sparkle. Holy shit, I just thought about that. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind so the Firefly's soul crack. case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Who are you guys? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Boss, get moving. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss. I love this theme song. Track? Reminds me of Final Fantasy IX. What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first. Report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year end bonus on the snowball! Steiner theme? Yep. The Steiner theme. Bigs and Wedge, you fucking right. Oh my god, I love this song, bro. Alright, bro, y'all, yeah. Oh! Beating for you, lot. You've been told not to drink during workout. Holy ass cheeks! There she is. Take him back to the hotel room. Hello, 
organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Topaz has arrived. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Panacone. <sighs> oh, long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? <sighs> it's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <sighs> yes, all right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacone. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank okay. you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Guys, this is a good this is a good stopping point. This is a good stopping point. We will pick back up tomorrow. I am really enjoying it. <laughs>